Good morning! So as you can see, we are looking quite leisurely this morning. We did actually manage to switch our days around. So today we are just about to go to the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian and we're playing mini golf later and eating at Yachtsman Steakhouse. I managed to change everything around. And then tomorrow we have Epcot and watching the holiday fireworks from Top of the World Lounge. Nice. So that is super exciting. And uh, we've just, it's like 11 a.m. Yeah. or something so proper leisurely starts very day, leisurely. which is nice and i like it but i'm just about to take a photo with the potato heads so excuse me while i just do that so we're just here at the front desk because there is a package and an envelope to collect and i've never really shown you the kind of check-in mm. process before so you can see back there all the magic bands so they've got arrival date 11th of december and all of those magic bands are for people checking in today and that second one is as well so that is a lot but they basically when they check you in they ask you if you've like stayed here before yeah. and like just sort everything out set your magic band up yeah. for charging if you want to and all that kind yeah. of thing Ooh, here comes our package Ooh. so we just picked up our envelope which is mini golf yes. yes so that's really good we got two free rounds of mini golf and also there was a package which I had no idea about and um, this little card this is from Stephanie and she sent us some Christmas treats yeah. this is so nice and the one thing that's amazing she obviously watches a lot of my videos because she sent me like eyelashes that I use and the Physicians Formula eyeliner that I always find is um, quite difficult to get and like some candies and stuff and a magic band in here I think yes and there's this little Mickey headband for days where you want to be a little bit less extra but you still want some Mickey ears and apparently this is super comfortable so thank you so much Stephanie so that's sweet. so thoughtful and such an amazing surprise I'm really grateful that's lovely okay now we've done that we're just gonna head for the bus what an amazing surprise that is so yeah, lovely so kind yeah if when you guys send me stuff it's so sweet and so consistent and I really do cherish all of the cards and things you send me. I keep everything, so thank you so much. That's really, really sweet. And now we need some coffee. So we are heading to the Kona Coffee um, place that we showed you the other day with the strawberries and the bacon and the good coffee. I'm excited. I'm this relaxing. I'm pretty on board with it, to be honest. <laughs> yes. And there is a Magic Kingdom bus right here. So we're just uh, getting a bit of a speed on, as much as I can get a speed on. <laughs> So we're going by the Magic Kingdom because if you come in on the buses you still do need to go through bag check and everything to get to the monorail but we are not going in today. We love you Magic Kingdom but we will be back. Oh I will be back actually. I don't think Ian will be no. but on our very last morning I'm going to make a very quick trip. I just feel like it's got to be done. <laughs> got to say goodbye to the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Oh, how cute. This is the cast gingerbread house competition. That is so neat. That one is my favorite. Yeah, I think so. But they're all really cool. Yeah, that one's got like dumb broccoli. Yeah. So we have uh, completed the mission of getting chocolate coated yumminess. So Ian has um, the bacon coated in chili chocolate, and that's actually two pieces of bacon, I believe. Yeah, looks like it. And then the chocolate, I mean, these are calorific treats if ever there were but 
Um, and then he also has a regular chocolate one. And I have two strawberries. This one is Oreo, and this one is like little sprinkly things. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Very excited. So let's try, I'm going for the Oreo one first. This looks very special. Don't judge me if I get it all around my mouth. That's probably gonna happen. <laughs> there you are. It's messy. That's amazing. Here we go with the chocolate bacon. <laughs> Is it good? Mm. Is that the regular one or the chili one? Regular. Mm. So it's like very chocolatey at the start. And then you get like a little salty burst of bacon. And then the more you chew it, the more the bacon flavour you get. Mm. Oh, just amazing. Okay, so on to the chili chocolate. Yeah. This looks very exciting. I am not a chili fan, so uh, that is all you. Yeah, the chili is quite subtle. Mm. So it's not spicy. You wouldn't like it. So it'd be too spicy for me. Yeah, but it's a very slow, subtle spiciness. Yeah, but if you don't like spicy, avoid at all costs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I did eat my second strawberry, the one with the little balls on it, but I got in a right mess because the whole like outside chocolate bit with the balls on it, just you bite into it and it comes off in huge pieces. So that one kind of didn't work as well. It tasted nice, but you eventually just end up with the strawberry and all the chocolate's like fallen off and you have to kind of just pick up the chocolate. So that was a little bit weird, but it tasted amazing. I definitely would recommend coming here to get these. Just bear in mind with Disney, they change up their snacks all the time. So these have been here for, I think, a couple of months um, but sometimes they do go away but if you are coming here soon check them out because they are a bit different and on the way out I will show you the cabinet because they had more there today than they had the other day when we were here for Ohana so I will show you the full complement of uh, chocolate coated yumminess and um, we went for the Kona pressed coffee it's like a pressed coffee pot for two but if you get it here at um, Kona Island they just bring you it in cups like this you don't actually get the, the coffee pot so we're just taking our coffees on the go to find a slightly more comfy chair downstairs and we're going to take a look at the menu and opening times for Enchanted Rose Lounge at the Grand Floridian because that's where we're going to have lunch hopefully and I'm just going to take one more look in the store downstairs because I love the boutique store here so cool. Okay, let's head into Boutique. I don't know what it is about this store. I just love it. I love this guy. He's um very festive at the moment. They actually have quite a few holiday t-shirts in here, which I really could have done with the other day. And I've never seen this one, I think. The mini and bright sequined one. So that's new to me. I feel like this would be really cool for Tokyo Disney. And I could keep my monorail pass in the back of there for next time we go. <laughs> that's really cool. And this is the coffee that we've just been drinking, so you can pick it up here in the store. We did actually get some of this the other day. It was so good. So we've had a slight change of plans. We're still going to go to the Enchanted Rose Lounge to show you guys what that's like, but they don't serve food until five. So we're going to go and get a drink at the Enchanted Rose Lounge and then go to Disney Springs to the Edison. Maybe just have something, you know, just to try it out. We just want to see the Edison and we still haven't shown them in the vlogs. And we'll just show you over here. I mean, look at this the Christmas tree. It's it like is the same, crazy. Like it's the same size as the one in the Magic Kingdom. It's so big. It's, it's absolutely huge. And they've moved all the chairs and couches. That's the only thing I don't like at this time of year is the lack all of comfortable chairs. But you can have your picture taken. And behind the tree, which we're just going to go and show you now real quick, is the gingerbread display. And then we're gonna head for Enchanted Rose, which is over here. I didn't actually manage to stop into this resort last time I was here, and I just love it. It's so nice. Here's an aerial view of the gingerbread display. Look that is at that. Wild. There's it's people in it. So cool. Are there people inside? Oh think, my goodness. I think they're selling something. I the think it's like um, a snack shop or something. Oh wow. The lights don't flash. This is just the camera um, is making it look like they're <laughs> flashing, but they're not. And um, yeah, it's like a little window kind of thing here where you can get gingerbread items. We'll go and have a look what's down there after we've had our drink. So right behind us where we've just been looking over the railings is the Enchanted Rose Lounge, which used to be Meisner's Lounge. Yes. So we're just gonna head in here and get a little drink. So this area, like this little part that juts out just above the gingerbread house, this is where the band used to be, right? Now they're downstairs. Now they're downstairs. Yeah, it was nice when they were up here. This is very pretty. Yeah, I love the blue as well in here. This is so pretty. And this chandelier. So we've taken a seat over here. We're just kind of back towards the windows. 
and you can see out onto 70s lagoon this is very nice on here um, we're just checking out the menu yeah so the menu has all this like cool theming as well yeah that's really cool we'll just show you what the small plates are but they're not available till 5 p.m and they're available up until 10 p.m so they have a crab and nocchetti gratin, mm -hmm. artisanal cheese selection, pepper spiced shrimp, house-made flatbread, which is broccolini, mushrooms, fennel sausage, ricotta salata and tomato confit. Mm -hmm. I'd probably eat that. Truffle fries, that's what I would have got if we were able to. Octopus, a uh, hard pass on that. Uh, mini smoked short rib sliders mm -hmm. and caviar. Definitely mm. would not be eating that either. Nope. But uh, some of that sounds really nice. And then all the drinks are like in these cool, they've got like different um, themes. So yeah. there's love, envy, oh, and then there's like featured cocktails, martinis, Martini. like all the spirits and whiskies. So they have like some real fancy whiskies. Oh my, they got the 25 year Macallan. That's $250 for a glass of whiskey. For one shot. Ouchie. And then they have some alcohol free stuff. That's probably what I'll get. It's a tad early in the day for me for alcohol. Oh, really? I might have one at the Edison, mm. potentially. But... And then they do have champagne as well. Yeah. Nice. So here is my tea. Very fancy. Look at the little sugar cubes on the teeny spoon. Got my milk back there. Feeling very British right now. That is awfully British of me to have a cup of tea, but I just fancied it. And there is Ian's beer, which was the Three Daughters, I think he went for, which is a local beer. Well, it's Florida, so it's yeah. from this state. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're now downstairs to have a quick look at the gingerbread house and the tree and everything before we head off to Disney Springs. The gingerbread house looks like they're having a party. This yeah. really is not what it looks like. The lights are completely still. <laughs> And um, it's got the ingredients on this board over here of what it took to make this to build it, which is so cool. And this is the menu of the stuff you can actually get. We would get in line and try some of this, but it's quite a long line. But they have all kinds of different gingerbread items, gingerbread Mickey ears dipped in chocolate, gingerbread ornaments, signature gingerbread house with chocolate. This. Oh, is that this? Oh, this is very cool. So you can buy this. That's, That's very super cute. Cool. And here's a bunch of the other stuff you can get. This is what I really wanted to try, but we haven't really got time to get in line. But maybe another time. Yeah. And some of these items you can even use your Disney dining plan smack credits, which nice. is really cool. And here it's just showing you actually them putting it together. Just to put it in perspective. You can see like this is a person down here, <laughs> so it's absolutely huge. And this tree is just absolutely stunning. It's so big. Someone's playing piano. That's what I love about this resort. It's just relaxing here. It's amazing. And this is the new home of the band. So they're now located over here, kind of near to the main entrance. And they even have nice decorations here at the front of the resort. You can see these little wicker animals and stuff here. So it's very pretty and the temperature is very pleasant now. The humidity has gone way down. Yeah, it was but I've really humid before. Got a feeling it's gonna rain. It does feel that way. They're not yeah. forecasting it though. So. Mm, I'm just looking over there. That that looks pretty grey. You guys can't really see, but it does. I feel the same way. Yeah. Let's go get a bus. Yes. So we have arrived at Disney Springs and uh, yeah, we've been here quite a bit this trip. Well, I certainly have, but I love Disney Springs. So there's nothing wrong with that. And we're heading to the Edison. We don't have a reservation. We're just going to see if we can get a walk up. I'm actually starving now. Are you? I'm pretty hungry. Yeah. Yeah. I really need some tea. All I've eaten today are two strawberries with chocolate on them and that's not good is it uh, so yeah we're gonna eat something there yeah just having a relaxed day and we are loving it it's quite windy now yeah there's a nice breeze breeze getting up it's pleasant and the ears i'm wearing today are from magic maker ears i put a code below to get 20 percent off from their shop i love these it's hard to tell but they're like super sparkly and they've got like a greeny blue tinge they're very nice where are we i've got disorientated this way i think okay we've got our bearings here we are Oh, happy hour. Hello. This looks very cool. Okay, this restaurant is so cool. I've never even been inside. So it's, I guess it's what kind of meant to be like a 20s yes. slash. It's a bit, um, not 
of like steampunk, but it's a bit kind of industrial revolution. Yeah. Kind of it's very, very cool. Once we're done eating, we'll kind of take you around and just show you what the rest of it looks like. I am definitely getting the Electra fries. I've had my eye on those. That sounds incredible. That they do um, fish and chips. They have a mac and cheese. That sounds amazing. Sandwiches and burgers and stuff. And also, this is what I probably would have got if I was eating an entree as well. Is the tomato soup and gooey grilled cheese. That sounds incredible. Ian would disagree strongly. <laughs> but... yep. So my cocktail is teeny tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting it to be like in a tall glass, but there you go. And that is Ian. So I have the fluoroscopy, which is um, vodka, vodka, lime juice, cranberry juice, and Sprite. And what's yours? Mine is uh, rum, amaretto, and coke. Ew, that is not my kind of thing. We'll see whether you like it though. It smells good. I don't like amaretto at all. I'm not a fan. It looked like you thought it was gross no, no. then. <laughs> I'd forgotten what amaretto tasted like. Oh, uh, okay. It goes well with coke. And okay. Nice. How's your thimble? It's nice, that is my sort of thing. Yeah. Definitely. It's very similar to a cosmopolitan, mm. um, but not quite as fruity. So, first things first, big portions here. So, yeah. that is Ian's burger and fries. And crazy. it's huge, and these are my Electra fries. Again, the hand for scale never works, but this <laughs> is huge, like really, really huge. I am excited and daunted at the same time. Just excited and afraid. Yes. So we've just got the check, which does not want to focus, and that's actually really reasonable because with tables in Wonderland, um, it includes the gratuity. They or they add the gratuity on, I should say. Uh, so yeah just under 50 bucks for what we had and it was really delicious mm. yeah mine was really nice yeah it was like really juicy and it looked good and loads of fries like it's a yeah, massive portion it's a of food huge huge portion and your yeah fries were well it was well. massive yeah yeah really good yeah i'd like to come back here on a day when they've got live entertainment so we're back upstairs now and i just wanted to show you the kind of middle part of the restaurant so you can just see how cool it is this is really awesome <laughs> Look at these penguins, they're so cute. I love that. They're like welded, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Look at this one. He's my favourite. Yeah. yeah, he seems the happiest. Yeah, he's loving life. So we are just headed for the bus now. We're gonna get a bus to Swan or Dolphin. Yeah. And then go across to Fantasia Gardens Mini Golf and hopefully we'll just about have time for that before we are then eating again. <laughs> Yikes. At Yachtsman Steakhouse. <laughs> We should have eaten sooner, but we thought we were going to eat at the Enchanted Rose Lounge and obviously it wasn't um, serving food yet, so that's why that happened, but anyway. So just on the way to the buses there, we ran into Amy and Heather and um, they're hoping to ride Rise of the Resistance on Friday, so I hope you guys managed to. Let me know in the comments if you're watching whether you did, and it was lovely to meet you. Hope you had a great rest of the trip. The bus is here and it's one of my favourite ones because it's the Galaxy's Edge bus. So we've got off the bus at the boardwalk, which shares the bus with Swan and Dolphin. The weather has taken a very sudden turn for the worse, which we were not expecting. This morning it was super warm and muggy, and it's gone really cold. When we were just at the bus stop at Disney Springs, I was freezing. And I think it's going to be too cold for mini golf, because we didn't bring sweaters or anything with us. Yeah, I think we'd, like, we could do it, but we'd end up not enjoying it, so we might as well do it another time. Yeah. So we're just going to find somewhere to hang out or do something here at the boardwalk. I love this resort so much. And I'm sure it's gonna look amazing for Christmas. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow. This looks stunning. It's really nice. Oh wow, and oh, they've got a little gingerbread boardwalk bakery. How cute is this? They're in there doing some baking. And then down at the end they have Tutoria Al Forno and Flying and Fish and, and the Christmas hotel. Yeah. yeah. This so is so cool. cute. I, I love it. With all the benches and yeah, tables. look at this. It's so cute. Oh, this is so cool. Just figuring out what we are gonna do, but look how freaky this chair is. Yeah. What is going on? There's one on each side, there's another one over there. It's so creepy. They are really creepy. Ew, with the leg at the back. Yeah. Ugh, no. Fire's nice though. Later. So we're now on the boardwalk as you can see and I cannot believe how chilly it has become in such a short period of time. It was actually hot this morning. 
<laughs> and now it feels like it did kind of when we first got here and it was cold. Yeah, I think what we've learned is that we probably should put like jumpers in the bag. Yes. No yeah, even though we were making fun earlier in the trip where people yeah. were like in their jackets and with their hats and gloves. Now it's actually pretty chilly. So. It's just been very unpredictable. Like it, it's literally, we've had days that have been actually cold mm. and then the other day it was 28, 29. Yeah. And that's centigrade, obviously. Um, so it's just really weird. And um, the last few days have been hot, so we just didn't even think to bring a jacket or anything. So yes, that's very strange. But anyway, we're just walking around to the yacht club. Yeah for our reservation mm. pretty soon. Ample Hills Creamery is so good. If you haven't tried anything from there, mm. do it if you get a chance. It's, really it's so good. good. So we've just walked through here, which I think is called Seabreeze Point. Um, I will check that in a minute, but this is between Boardwalk and Yacht and Beach are over there. And this is somewhere where you can get married, which is super cute. Can you imagine? This is just really, really nice. You can't get married here. You're already no. married. No, yeah. Sorry to break it to you. Too, too late for me. <laughs> We have arrived. At the I think we're a little early, so we might just kind of hang out or maybe see if we can get in there a bit early. It does seem like we just ate, but we have, some time has passed. <laughs> yeah. Vlogs can make that look as if like we've literally just eaten and then well, We've done a lot of like again. traveling around. Yeah, and walking and whatever, so yeah. time has passed. <laughs> arrived and I think they're gonna let us in a bit early which is really good. So we've been seated pretty much right away which is amazing and this is what the restaurant looks like. It's just very relaxed in here even though it's a signature everyone's very casual to be honest so it's nice and relaxed. You can just come here after a park day. And here is the menu. It's obviously very steak heavy for obvious reasons but I'm very interested to see what the customised plant based entree is because that's probably what I will have. And they have some amazing sides here. The truffle macaroni and cheese is so delicious. I absolutely love it. So one of the great things about coming to Yachtsman Steakhouse is the bread basket because they have these pull apart onion rolls and they bring out um, roasted garlic and butter that you can and it is just to die for. I love these, they're absolutely amazing. Food has arrived and Ian has the filet with some fries and it does look good. And I have a Hasselback potato and some truffle mac and cheese. So very carby combo but I do love a carb. It was amazing. Really good. Mm -hmm. But it always is there, it's like really fantastic. And the cast members are amazing there. Know, the service is really great. It's incredible. So we are going to get an Uber now. Yeah. Because that is the only way to get back when you're this full and can't be bothered to walk anywhere. <laughs> Which we definitely are. So we are all done, back at Pop Century. We are very full. I'm not feeling too great in terms of um, <laughs> my stomach. I think I've eaten too much carbs and cheese today, not going to lie. And I've kind of got that feeling where I could just lay down on the ground and expire. You know the feeling when you've overdone it in the theme parks, but I've just overdone it with carbs and cheese. That. Um, my own fault, self-inflicted. We are going to go get sorted, get into bed, because we are going to Hollywood Studios super early again in the morning to try and get a boarding group so that we can actually get on in the morning. And then we're headed to Epcot and eating at Garden Grill with Chip and Dale, which I'm super excited for because we've never done that before. So I hope you're looking forward to that. If you are, give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys in the morning. Ha, 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 ha.